Last week, students were asked if they thought USD is a suitcase campus. Some said yes, while others said no. Coyote News' Diana Johnson tells us why there's not more agreement on this issue. The idea that USD is a suitcase campus is somewhat debatable. Assistant Director of Student Life Lindsay Sparks says upperclassmen are more likely to say it isn't, while underclassmen will say it is. The upperclassmen feel like it's not a suitcase campus because they, they have their niche on campus. They have their student organizations, they have their friends that they spend time with on the weekends. So they don't feel that need to go back home where it's more comfortable, I guess. Um, and we are working with our first years and even our second years on building that comfort level and that sense of like, this is my home and wanting to be here all the time. Movies at the Muck and tailgating are just a few of the events for students to do over the weekend. Spark says students just have to take the initiative and get more involved with campus events and activities. So a lot of it is just getting on the campus calendar or on the Red Informant, which is the new USD Activities blog, um, and seeing what's going on. There's almost always something going on. Uh, a lot of it is just the students taking the time to reach out and find what might interest them. With 30% of the freshman class originally from less than 50 miles away, it seems proximity might determine if they stay over the weekend. I go home probably about twice a month or so because I live in Sioux Falls, so it's a convenient, short, easy 45 minute drive to see my family and friends that are back home. I go home, I've only been home twice since college just started because I'm five hours away and it's a long trip home. For Coyote News, I'm Diana Johnson. About 20% of freshmen are 200 to 300 miles away from home, while 14% are up to 300 miles or more.